Oh, hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a foundation routine. I know I've been promising you girls this for like two or three videos now and I finally got it up for you. Um, the technique hasn't really changed. Some of my products have, but for the most part, it's the same as always. I just switch out like my concealers and foundations and things like that. So as you can see, I already have my eye makeup on, and that's just because I normally do my eye makeup <clears throat> last, but I kind of just wanted to get it out of the way for today. So I'm going to start with the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. I normally use the Mineralizing Primer the by e.l.f., the Maybelline Baby Skin, um... I have a few primers. I can't really think about, I can't really think of the other ones, but those are the two that I grabbed the most. So this is uh, new and I just wanted to try it. So I'm just going to mix it on the back of my hand. And it, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the consistency. Like it's not silicone-y, but it's definitely a hydrating primer. So I'm just going to Oh, it smells really weird. And I know y'all are probably trying to figure out why in the world I'm using the hydrating primer and I am oily. But because it's getting colder, my skin is... Oh, I'm really not an oily skin person. I'm more of like combination because just my T-zone is really oily. And then everything else on my face gets uh, dry spots. But I don't know if I like this primer yet. It's more greasy than anything. Like I just want to be hydrated and not greasy. So I'll... Let y'all know how I feel about this primer. But next, I'm actually going to color correct. And I take my NYX um, Conceal Corrector Contour. But I'm going to take this orange shade right here. And I'm just going to do it around the darker parts of my face. So like there and just anywhere where I have a little bit of darkness and depending on your complexion different colors work for you like I think green counteracts redness orange counteracts like dark blue circles and then I don't know what yellow counteracts but yellow is in here too so yeah and I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. I am going to be honest the hydrating primer does make this stuff blend out a little bit better but I'll still let you know how I feel because this is looking real slick. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect. But lately I've been using the um, Makeup Forever Ultra High Definition. And I'm really liking it. But I got it a few days ago so I really don't know how I feel about it yet. So um, I will let you know soon how I feel for sure okay so I'm just gonna take this and I just dab it it looks like a lot but I am definitely a full coverage type of girl so I just use this to put this on my face because I don't like getting foundation under my nails and then I'm gonna go in uh lately I've been using this BH Cosmetics like flat top kabuki but I think I'm gonna go with my beauty blenders today. Now that we've got that blended, I can already tell that this hydrating primer is really really greasy it's giving me more of a greasy effect versus the luminous effect that i'm going for so next i'm going to conceal and the two concealers that i like i've been liking to mix lately is the mary Kay concealer in bronze 2 and the mac pro longwear concealer in nw40 i also like the inglot concealer but i just didn't want to use that today so i normally take like 
a pump of the MAC concealer and then like a little tiny squirt of this concealer and I like to make a little a little cocktail on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to go in with a real Texan a Techniques um, pointed foundation brush and just apply that to my the places on my face that I want to highlight go back with a different beauty blender they look dirty because they are but they're not as dirty as they look mine have just been stained because I've had them for so long but I'm just gonna blend that out I'm going to go in with my contour and this is, I think this is pretty much the same, I still cream contour. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup in Cool uh, and that's in C10. The name of this is Espresso. But I actually need more of this and I forgot that I had this little makeup forever mirror here to mix stuff on. But I'll use it now. So what I like to do is take, like this is a um, BH Cosmetics pointed brush, one of those pointed small kabuki brush brushes, and this is extremely dirty. And I like to go out and do the, 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 the I like to do the shape, the C and then down my neck, so like the three shape. I just blend that out. You always want to blend up, never blend down with a contour. I don't know how this foundation is looking on camera, but um, in person, it's looking like I just needed to let that primer dry. So next time I use that primer, I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to see how it's looking because. It looks like it's starting to dry up and it's not as shiny. to take my beauty blender the one that I did my concealer with or my foundation either one and I just like to blend everything out just so it's seamless and everything blends together normally in the winter time I don't really powder my face because I get so dry and even though I get oily it kind of like um evens out and I actually look like pretty and dewy instead of just like a grease ball but because I have this really really um really really luminous or greasy powder on underneath this or uh primer on underneath this I'm going to powder it and this is actually a bronzer I think or a blush this is toasted coconut by B Matt. um I mean, this is the B Matte Blush and Toasted Coconut by City Color Cosmetics. I've had this for a long time. If y'all have been rocking with me since the very beginning, y'all know that I gave a give. I had a giveaway um, with all of these blushes. So yeah, I've had these for quite a while. But I'm just gonna take that because it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, and I'm just gonna dab that underneath my eye, just in like a triangle shape I don't want it to go onto my um, cheeks or anything because I don't want it to lighten that area up or remove um, 
my doingness everywhere else. So I'm not really big on baking, but I do like to set uh, or I do like to sharpen my contour because as you see, even though I told you not to bring it down, I brought it down a little bit. So I just like to go under my contour just like right here along the jawline. And just to sharpen that up. Then I take a blush of my choice. I've been loving um, this e.l.f. blush palette. I know y'all saw this in my um, favorites video. So I'm just going to take that and a um, Sigma small contour. And I've been mixing these two together. But I think I'm going to mix all of them together today. Just because. Why not? So I'm just going to swirl my brush in all of them. Tap off the excess and lightly apply that to my cheeks. And y'all may think that looks crazy, but we're going to blend it out. I just like to pack the product on first and then blend it out. 